Okay, I'm ready. Hey everybody, <clears throat> this is what it's resorted to. I didn't have a choice, Meredith. Um, hi everyone. I am, I'm at a loss right now. Um, it's been an extremely, extremely rough, rough night for Susie and Sam. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you to the handful of volunteers that came here and spent their entire day with us and really helped out with these two because they require a lot, a lot. Um, I am going to vent for a few minutes because I'm running on fumes and I'm exhausted. I am heartbroken for them. Um, there's been not one offer to foster these two babies that are just completely heartbroken, devastated after they lost everything. Um, recap, their father was murdered and they were then picked up by animal control from the family's home and taken to the kill shelter where they were in the back of the shelter. Our organization stepped up to save these two lives. Um, not only to save them, but to keep them together because they've been together for the five years that they've been alive. They are brother and sister. And they are the sweetest, most loving souls. They are huge baby lugs. I mean, they are just like, they're ridiculous. Um, I don't know about magic, Ruth, um, but thank you. I am, I'm beside myself right now. Um, I left here. Um, hi, Shelly. Shelly and Keith were here all day and they helped me and they closed up tonight because I had to run out and do a home check. And I went home uh, because Shelly and Keith fed the dogs and got everybody settled in for the night around six-ish. And at seven-ish, I checked in on them on the Nest camera and it was insane. The howling, the screaming, um, they were clawing at the door, they were pacing. They were so loud in such distress and I just literally just got home, fed my dogs and wasn't planning on coming back until later this evening. Um, that did not happen. I had to leave immediately, jump in my car and run here. Um, I got here and they basically, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm not going to get up, um, but there's lucite around the door jam and it protects the wood. So Shelly, they actually, I don't, I think it was Susie. I don't know which one it was, uh, literally broke the lucite into pieces. It was all over the floor. It was sharp. So I'm afraid that they would hurt themselves. And then they started working on the, uh, wood frame. There were pieces of wood on the floor. So I cleaned that up and, um, they just don't want to be alone. I took them outside. They peed. Um, he pooped. She did not poop. Um, I gave them each um, a, a small dose of trazodone to calm them down. Um, I don't know what to do. I, I am at my wits end. I cannot live here. I am exhausted. I am running on fumes. Um, I, I don't know. I, I would even hire somebody um, to help me out because I, I just need to find somebody that I trust. But... I can't even find that right now. Uh, so I'm basically stuck and I'm the one that's here and uh, I can't live here. Um, you know, I, I just, I don't know what to do. I really don't. I'm not going to drug these dogs. Um, they're on a very small dose of little bit of trazodone, which you can give your dogs when they, when it, there's fireworks to calm their nerves. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, they're just so broken. They are grieving like I've never seen before. Never in my life have I ever witnessed anything like this. And I am just, I'm at my wit's end. They're missing their daddy. They're missing their life.
and they're destroying me. They're killing me. I never imagined, I never imagined that saving two lives was going to turn into something like this. I really never did. Um, but I can't live here. I have my own dogs. I have my own life. And uh, I don't know what to do. They've still got the kennel cough. Mm. I, sorry, you got hair in my eyeball. I pulled out the couch thinking I could get them both up here and uh, just kind of let them relax a little bit. So um, Sam jumps right up. Right, Sam. Mm. Sam jumps right up on the bed with me and wants to cuddle. resting on me. He's a big baby. He's just a big baby. I really need somebody that can help me um, foster these dogs. They can't be in this room by themselves. They're not going to do well here. They're going to deteriorate. They're going to totally deteriorate and I can't sit by and watch this. I really can't. I don't know what to do. Stretch out, buddy. It's okay. Oh, buddy. I love you. I love you, Sam. Oh, he just rested his paw right on my boob. He's pushing my boob. <sighs> Have you ever seen me like this? Have you ever seen me speechless like this? Dean, it was so great meeting you as well, but I don't know what to do for these dogs. I'm at my wit's end. I want to know how rescues that don't, I know there's a rescue up the street and there's hardly anybody there and there's dogs like in full in their, in their, whatever you want to call it, in cages and kennels. They come in a few times a day and they're there for maybe an hour. How, how do these dogs survive? Like, what am I missing? If I didn't have a nest camera and I wasn't watching these dogs when I wasn't on here, they would be just, I, in such distress on their own and I, I don't know I don't know Pauline I'm, I'm trying I'm trying I'm trying there has to be somebody out there that can help and and find me a home for them there has to be listen I would let Kathy I would absolutely I have out-of-state adopters and I would absolutely let an out-of-state adopter for these dogs if they were amazing and if they're willing to come here and pick them up and drive them home i would absolutely allow that but it has to be the perfect wonderful loving home i'm not against that at all it's in our um description of out-of-state adoptions but what we don't do is we don't ship and transport dogs out of state they don't need i don't believe that they need a farm i i uh they need a property they need a loving home uh they want to be with their person and a, a yard would be perfect for them. They're not runners. Um, they're not crazy hyper dogs. I take them out in our backyard and they walk around so slowly and they lay in the dirt and they do their business and they want to come back in. They want a person. They need love. That's what they're missing. This is what they want. They want to cuddle. He's holding me right now. He has his paw literally. Hi. You want to come over? Huh? We'll come back over. What? What? Hi. Hi. It's okay. It's okay. Got his nose in my armpit. 
And I got Susie over here. Come here, baby. Lay down and relax, Mama. It's okay. I got you. And she just melts right in. She is not one to just jump. She wouldn't jump on the bed. Um, she jumped up on the couch. And then when I opened up the bed, I um, had to literally pick her up. 70 plus pounds. Um, I had to uh, pick her up and put her on the bed. And... And just kind of pull her into me to let her know it was okay. And so she's melting right into me. And she's just breathing so softly and gently. I love you. I love you, Susie. So if this is what I have to do and get them through their grieving period, um... This is what I'm going to have to do. I'm just tired. I'm so tired. It's literally from the second I wake up and there's just no break. It's like an hour break here and there back at the rescue house. Um, I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? Monkey's great. I can't even spend time with him. I came in, um, I tended to them first, Susie and Sam, to make sure they were okay. It's exactly, you just said it, Erica Love, it's emotionally draining. Thank you, Bar. It's almost 10 o'clock. So I got back here at 7, and I've been here for three hours, and I don't know when I can leave or if I can leave. I don't know what I'm going to do. And I want to go home. I want to go home to my dogs. I want to go home to my bed, to my life. And I don't, I can't let these dogs um, get used to this because I can't do this every day. They've been with people all day um, since seven this morning. Carol and I got here at seven o'clock this morning. And we were here all day. Carol left to do what she needed to do and she had to work today. Um, I stayed all day from seven o'clock until five-ish, went and did a home check. And, um, and then I thought I would stay home until 10 and come back and let everybody out one last time. But it didn't work out that way because at seven o'clock, these babies were howling and screaming, screaming. I've never heard anything like it. I was listening to it in my house and my dogs were just looking around and they started crying. Um, and then again, when I came in, um, the, the loose sight all around the door was just broken off into pieces. They were in such distress. They were scratching and biting and they're not destructive. It's not, it's not a destructive act. It's because they're in so much pain and they don't want to be alone. Um, and that's what this is about. And it's just, it's just, it's awful. I, I could not turn my back and say, Oh, you know what? They'll get, they'll get over it. They'll chill out eventually. I couldn't, I can't do that. I couldn't do that. So I'm here and I'm holding Susie in my arms. Literally, I am laying across the couch, as you can see. I'm spread out and she is just on the bed um, and she's just snoring now in my ear. So that makes me happy that she's relaxed. We did that, Casey. They've had walks. Um, they, they, you know, go for rides. They, today they did not go for a walk. So I'm wondering... They def maybe need some more out time. Um, I'm going to have to get them out more often. For sure, every day these dogs need walks. They need exercise. They need something different. For sure. Sam, what are you doing? Sam? Sam? What are you doing? And then there's Sam. 80 plus pounds. Laying across me. If this is what it's going to be like and this is what they need, then this is what I'm going to have to do. I just, I can't do it alone. I can't do this every night. I can't. I can't. I'm begging each and every one of you that is watching this video. I can't believe that there's not a person out there that can uh, open up your home to these dogs. I just can't.
no, unfortunately, no, Cindria. I don't have anybody that um, will spend the night. Nobody's ever offered. So, no, I can't. Um, and, you know, volunteers are that. They're volunteers. Uh, they'll come in an hour here, 20 minutes there, um, and that's what they do, you know, or a couple hours. But it's it's not, it's just I'm here anyway. So when the volunteers come in and I'm here anyway, um, you know, they spend time with the dogs. Same thing when Tiffany's here. Uh, when Tiffany's here, volunteers will come in and, and they'll spend time with the dogs. We're very, very, very grateful for that. But it doesn't alleviate, it doesn't relieve me at all. Um, like, for example, Saturday and Sunday, I'm here. I'm the one that's here from Saturday and Sunday, uh, 7 a.m. <clears throat> all day, um, both days. And then come back every single night, seven days a week every night, seven days a week from 10 p.m. to midnight or 10 to 1130. And no, nobody, nobody comes in. Nobody offers to take a night shift. No. So it's on me. It, the end of the day, um, it's my rescue. And it's, I guess it all falls on me um, and my wife. We're the two that are here every single night. And um, so, yeah, it's, it falls on me. So I, you know, things are going to have to start changing because if I can't get people to help me out, then I'm going to have to downsize and take in, um, easier, um, just easier. I can't, just... unfortunately it sucks. Village, Really, it takes a village to do something like this. And this is seven years going seven years with this rescue that I started, um, and, uh, no breaks, like not one vacation, no breaks in seven years. So, um, forgive me if I'm just a little frustrated, a little frustrated. Bar, that would be awesome. Um, reach out to me directly. I'm not going to put anything on the volunteer page. Um, so if you can if you can spend a night that would be fantastic bar would be awesome. That's what I need. I need a, a volunteer to step up and be willing to spend a night um, and just listen it's comfortable here. Uh, there's a bed here. Uh, thank you bar. I appreciate it so very much. Um, I really need help from my team. Um, somebody to give up a night and give me a break <laughs> from a night shift maybe you know come in it 9 30 10 and do an hour and let everybody out so I don't have to come back every single night for seven days a week um, Tiffany is um, drained as well Tiffany's here five days a week and she also takes Albert home every single night so Tiffany can only do what she can do that's it that's it um, everybody else works they do what they can they're volunteers you can't expect anything from anybody and I guess unless you're paying them um, and they're an employee, then you can't really expect anything. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I'm just very frustrated. I'm tired and um, I'm, I'm sad. I am completely heartbroken to sit by and to watch these two dogs that are going through <clears throat> such a hard time. Um, their grieving process is just something that I've never witnessed before. I've never, um, experienced before in all the years of my rescue. I, I don't know. I guess maybe it's, it's different because I know their I know the history and I know what they're going through. So on an emotional, um, you know, my human emotions, um, Amy, maybe the library where he worked can help with an item he may have handled. Pauline, I honestly, I don't believe, and I, I appreciate that, but I am so over the whole, um, an article of clothing of his. I, um, I'm so over reaching out to the family. I'm, that's not happening. It's not happening. Um, it's not going to, I don't believe it's going to help them at all. You reached out to, the, you contacted them, Erica, and what did you get back? No response. What a surprise. What a surprise that is. Listen, I don't want these dogs. Let's, let me under, make, I just want to be clear. 
I don't want these dogs that were um, given up um, and then they went to the kill shelter um, to die. I am angry. I don't want these dogs to go back to a place where they're not going to be cared for and loved and adored. Um, I will never let that happen. You're pissed beyond. I don't blame you. Don't let it get to you. What do you expect, Erica? What do you, what more do you expect? These dogs were, 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 it's not like they were given up to a friend or a family member. These dogs were literally picked up by an animal control officer and dragged away to their, to their fate of death. So let's just move on. Let them grieve. I'm sorry for their loss. I'm sorry for these dogs loss of their daddy. Um, they were outside. I'm not surprised. They love the dirt. They love the dirt. No, I do not believe these dogs are ever in daycare. I think you, Kathy, are coming from a place where this could ne never happen for these dogs. Never. Um, hold on a second. I want to see. Yeah, so um, Shannon, so that's what I decided to do. So, you know, whenever any of our dogs were super, super stressed out, uh, whether it was like 4th of July fireworks or whatever, um, it was always told to us that, you know, give them a little, a trazodone. And Disco is on trazodone. Disco is still on trazodone. I don't know how many she's taking, but when she was with us, Disco was on three 100 milligrams of trazodone three times a day that kept her just normal that's how hyper she was um so with these two uh Susie's about 70 ish and Sam over here who hasn't budged from my lap um Sam is about 80 ish um so what I did was I gave them um now I remember Disco got three trazodone 100 milligrams three uh, so that's three, three times a day. I, when I came in tonight, I gave Susie one, 100 milligram, and I gave Sam one, 100 milligram. Um, and then I have the little 50 milligrams. So I gave them each 150, um, for their weight. That's not a lot. That's, it's nothing. Uh, they can still get up and they walk around and they go outside and they, you know, they're just, it takes the edge off. So that's what I gave them tonight. Um. Disco was on trazodone for the three years that we, plus years that we had her. And we had no choice. Otherwise, she was, you know, just out of control. So, um, it's, I guess it's like a, you know, uh, this for me, for them, these dogs don't need medication. On a nor If they were in a home, these dogs do not need medication. No, not at all. If they have a person, they don't need it. And that's what kills me. But if that's what's going to keep them, um relaxed and take that anxiety out of them, the stress, then that's what they're going to need because they need rest and they can't be up all night long crying and scratching at doors and, and, and chewing and, and, you know, they don't shred a pillow. There's pillows in here. There's stuffed animals. There's bedding. There's everything. Nice fluffy beds with memory foam in them. And they've done nothing. Um, the door thing is because they want out. They don't want to be in here alone. They want to be with a person. So as soon as, um, hold on, I just want to see, I'm missing all these comments. Um, as soon as a person is with them, um, right? Jody Glass, Jody Miranda was here today. Jody, thank you so much for coming by and spending time with them and for bringing such much needed donated items of food um, and treats. Sorry, I have a hair in my nose, itchy. Um Thank you so much for your donation. So greatly appreciated and spending time with them. And your friend, Tammy, who came by as well. Uh, Mary Jean came by today. Robert came by today. Um, Glenn came by today. Um, Shelly and Keith were here today. Natasha came by today. Um, Dawn and her son, Anthony, came by today. Um, we had a lot of wonderful people that stopped in here. Our Carrie stopped by today. Um, if anybody here, am I missing something, Zoe? Is somebody offering a home or I, I don't know. I don't see it. Uh, 
I saw how Sam was with the boy. He, oh my God, these, Sam, yes, you are missing. What am I missing? Molly, Molly, who's Molly? Where's Molly? <sighs> Molly, um, I, I, I guess I'm missing. I don't know where Molly is. I don't see a comment. I just see everybody else saying, yes, Molly, Molly, Molly in Boynton Beach, if that's correct. Dawn is not, Dawn is not here. So I don't know where that's coming. I know Dawn, Dawn Jacobson. Dawn is not here. He is not in a position to foster, but thank you. Which one is that laying with me? This is Susie. I can't move. My arm is like dead. Um, Molly, I don't, Molly, I, okay. If Molly is offering to help, um, if Molly is offering to help, I'm asking you, Molly, to please call me directly. I'm going to give you my, um, I'm going to give you my uh, cell phone. It's 561-860-2000. Um, I believe they're wonderful with kids. I don't see a mean... How old are your children? Anyways, um, Molly, if you can help, just please reach out to me. And thank you in advance. I don't know if it's going to be a fit, but uh, I I don't see them reactive at all with other animals, and um, you know I don't I haven't had them around any other dogs, so we we definitely would um, two and three. Mm. Uh, that's young. I don't know how they would be with little infants. I don't know. I don't know. We'd have to try it out. Give me a call if you would like to, and I appreciate it in advance, Molly. Um, thank you. Thank you for offering, Molly. You are, I, I would definitely suggest um, you bringing your children here to the rescue house and... Uh, and you can even, you know, see how they get along. We can start with the children first. And then um, we can then go to the dog thing. It's just I'm not poo-pooing anything and I'm not being negative. Um, you know, I just I want to make sure that they're placed in the right environment for them and for the person. I, you know, we'll see. We have to see. We have to see. So everybody that uh, please understand how this works and I know from experience, um, when people offer, like Molly has so kindly offered, please do not for one second um, think that they're they're great. Oh, they have a place. That's not the case. We've been through this and gone down this road a million times, a million times, where people offer and it's they either it doesn't work out, and then people think, oh, but I thought he had a I thought they had a foster. Please do not do not. Um, yeah, for one second, think that's the case. I mean, ideally, Molly, it would be so fantastic, so fantastic, um, if it was a fit, but please understand, I don't know the history of these dogs and, uh, please stop with praying. It's an adoption. Um, if it's an option of foster, that would be great. Um, if it works, but let's just let, let's just let it go. And I will speak to Molly and we'll see how it goes. Um, I can't place them anywhere that is not good for them because it could set them up for, you know, a disappointment. Um, and remember with children, especially young children, um, I have to be very careful of, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm sorry, Priscilla, I don't work like that. I don't take a leap of faith. I am very cautious um, and I do not take things lightly when it comes to placing animals in homes and it will never change that's who we are as an organization sorry i i believe in faith and um i believe in being responsible 
Marcy, uh, these two dogs, their owner died and it was on the news. Uh, he was tragically murdered. He was shot and uh, he was leaving an ATM um, with 40, bu 40 bucks in his pocket. And um, if uh, he was, he was just, he was murdered and he never came home. So his dogs um, were his life. They're five years of age, they're brother and sister. Um, and um, they, they never saw their daddy again. And their family, um, the man, Jamie, who was murdered. Um, exactly, Stephanie. Um, uh, so anyways, uh, they, his family called Animal Control and Animal Control came and picked up these beautiful dogs and loaded them in their truck and took them to the Miami-Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter where they were locked in the back. Um, yeah, so that's basically Marcy. That's their story. Devastating. And they are grieving so. Now, Marcy knows me, and Marcy has been with 100 Plus Following for many years. She has fostered for me. So um, Marcy knows how OCD that I am, right, Marcy? Marcy can it... Marcy can attest for this because Marcy took in two dogs for us that I can't even begin to tell you how hard it was to catch Mike and Carol, uh, the Brady Bunch um, family, and their six puppies. All the puppies were named after the Brady Bunch kids. So uh, Marcy, what happened, Marcy, after I was so OCD with you, not to bring back, um, but I got a call from Marcy that uh, Mike got out of her house and we were running on foot and in our cars searching for him and searching for him and searching for him. Um, yeah. So we all learn, right, Marcy? And now Marcy understands why we were very fortunate enough to get him back safely. And they are both adopted together, Mar Mike and Carol. Um, so Marcy, I'm sure you understand why I am the way that I am. Yep, in the ghetto, Marcy. That's right. We were all over the ghetto, and uh, it was a horrible neighborhood, and we were searching for Mike, and then we told her to put a, uh, what was it, his article of clothing or something out front, and he came home. Yeah, Sam is very, very content. He is laying, um, literally, as you can see, his paws are on my legs, and his head is on my belly, under my boob. And he's sleeping. And then I have Susie right up here with my arm wrapped around her. Thank you, Sandy. They're very comfortable. I'm a little squished, but it's okay. I'm good. I can't complain. I can't complain. So I need to find these babies the right home. I, um, you know, when it comes to small children, it's, uh, it, it, um, I have, it has to be the right home. Fit. I cannot, I will not place a dog in a home that is not good for them. Um, you know, like I said, I don't know if they've ever been around small children and it has to be kids are kids. Let's be honest. Let's be kids. I mean, let's be honest about kids, uh, small children with big dogs and even puppies, you know, we have to be very careful where we place these dogs because if an incident or accident happens, then it's going to put their lives in jeopardy. I know they're great with all people. Every single person that has come into this rescue house to spend time with them, they have been nothing but perfect, sweet, and gentle. I know. He's so peacefully breathing. Um, I thank you, Pauline. Thank, uh, that's Sam. I'm afraid to move. My arm that is holding this phone is about to fall off. Um, and Joyce knows how diligent. Joyce Erico is here. She adopted our Sammy. Joyce, did we not put you through the ringer or what? And rightfully so, right? And anybody that adopts from us understands and respects why we do what we do. So please understand and respect what I say. This is how we work. You're laughing at me, Jody. <clears throat> See, I'm snoring. I'm glad he's comfortable and relaxed.
Joyce and Sammy. Joyce says, yes, you did, and it was so worth it. Listen, I don't even get it how rescues just hand dogs over to people and they don't even do a home check. It makes me sick to my stomach. Like, I'll say it again and again and again. Please listen to these words that are going to come out of my mouth right now and think about what I'm saying when I say it. There are fates worse than death. And there are fates worse than euthanasia. I'm sorry. That's how I feel. Wholeheartedly. And it will never change. Um, these dogs that are adopted from the kill shelter or monkey's good. He's sleeping. He's, he's an angel. He's so quiet. I don't even know he's here. Sorry. The, the dog here is just itchy. Um, and I can't move. So, of course. Help me. Oh. Uh, these dogs that are adopted from the shelters that are given away to just anybody. We've seen it. Puppies. Hold on. I need to get my charger. This is going to be fun. Susie, I'm sorry, baby. Don't move. Stay there. Oh, boy. It's my 100-foot cord. I'm right here. I'm right here. Hi. Oh, hope that works. I Adjustment, adjustment. Let's see I'm back. Um, these puppies. Oh, mama, she's coughing. Come here. You okay? It's okay. Relax. Relax. I got the charger. Did you hear it click? I didn't hear it click. I don't know if Sam disconnected me. Did you pull my charger out, Sam? You're laying on it. Oh, oh, Sam. I'm sorry. Oh, I've got a really... Hold on. Let me do this again. Okay, I think it's working. I believe it's working. Um, yeah, so I'm sorry. I'm distracted. I'm trying to get this phone to keep going with my charger, and Sam was laying on it, so it was kind of hard to get. But I believe I'm, I'm okay now. Um, okay, so as I was saying, we've seen time and time again uh, beautiful dogs that are in the kill shelter, and then we'll see them, their names and their ID numbers, and that they were adopted. Um, and then all of a sudden, a year later, we see them come back into the shelter, and the dog is just unrecognizable. Uh, covered in mange, emaciated. I I can't even put into words. So the, the year that that dog was adopted, the dog was probably tied to a freaking shed or a tree um, and just living outside. And do you understand what kind of a life that is for a dog? So when these shelters give these dogs away and they don't do any home checks for these dogs, not know where they're going, I, 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 it makes me sick. I don't get excited, especially when it's these, oh, free, free dogs, free giveaway, free giveaway. Oh, that's, that's freaking great. That's fantastic. So any, any loser off the street, um, can, you know, come in and get a free dog. We've seen it every day. Uh, we've seen these people, we were talking about it the other day. I had two wonderful supporters of mine show up. And they made a donation um, of paper towels and sanitizer and garbage bags and detergent. Thank you so much, uh, Catherine and your husband, Andre, um, for your wonderful donation and generosity. So grateful. Uh, but we were talking because they said they live in Miami and they volunteer at the... Am I keeping you up, buddy? Hmm? They volunteer at the Miami-Dade Kill Shelter. And... They were talk talking about all their experiences, what they witnessed at the kill shelter. And they would say that people would honestly and literally walk in the door with their 15-year-old dog. And they would say, um, I, I, don't want, I, I don't want him anymore. He's too old. We want a young dog now. And they'll leave their senior dog and then the shelter will adopt out a young dog to these people. Can you freaking imagine that? Or, or Craigslist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's not forget um, that piece of shit uh, that that stabbed Ollie in Hollywood. How many times was that? Did he stab the dog like 11 times? And then when they caught him and he, he, they put his body in a, uh, <clears throat> a briefcase in an alleyway and he was still alive. 
um, he passed away. Never forget Ollie. So um, that piece of shit that did that to Ollie, uh, he was all over Craigslist and he was getting free cats all day long. People that were posting free cat, free cat. And here's this guy came along and he took in cat after cat after cat. And they found animals in his freezer. They found animals in his stove. Yeah, so you want to talk about fates worse than death? That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly... He's still in jail. Never forget Ollie Joyce. Never. Never that piece of crap. I, I, I can't even go there. I can't. Someone rehoming their 12-year-old because... What was this? Heather Hill... Saw it today. Someone was rehoming their 12-year-old dog because they got a new pup that was too rough with her. I, I can't. That's what I'm talking about. I, I got a puppy and my and the puppy's too rough with my 12-year-old. So I'm going to get rid of my 12-year-old dog so I can keep my new puppy. What is wrong with people? Are you kidding me? And I can't even wrap my head around it. I can't. This is not, I'm not making this up. I get the phone calls all the time on my hotline. I'm not kidding you. I need, to, are you taking in any dogs at this time? I need to get rid of my dog. I can't keep it anymore. May I ask you why you can't keep your dog anymore? Well, we got a puppy and it's not working out. Or I'm moving. Really? What? Hi. Are you tired, Bubba? Come here. You want to lay down on me? Yeah? Come on. Where are you going? You want to get down? What do you want? What do you want? You tired? Hmm? Hi. Hi, Bubba. Come here. Come here. Sam, Sam. Lay down, buddy. Lay down. Here. Come here. Come on. Lay down. Lay down. Relax. 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 You can go wherever you want, buddy. You want to get down? Huh? You like the bed or you don't like the bed? Do you want me to leave the bed down or do you want me to fold it up? What do you want me to do? Hmm? Go ahead. You want to go down? You can. Climb over me. You can do whatever you want, buddy. What? You decided to lay down? Hmm? They don't know what they want. I love you, see. I love you. Exactly, Colleen. Look at Gator. I got, oh my God. An adopter loved the family, adored the family. They got three new dogs since they adopted Gator. They were fighting and they were like, constant fighting and then they decided to give up gator and then after they gave up gator they decided they wanted gator back they, they bought a muzzle a shock collar and a cage and they figured out how they could make it work seriously psychopaths please i know susan i wonder that too if they slept in a bed I don't think so. I really don't. I don't know. I don't know. It would be cool. Yeah, Susan, I'm not kidding. That's for real. Yep. I remind you of Mommy Angel. Yeah, they wanted Gator back. They blew me up. They sent me private messages for I don't know how long. Uh, phone calls begging me to reconsider. 
And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And I, absolutely not. So that's not happening. Dawn, it was great to see you today as well. I just, I mentioned you and your son, Anthony. Thank you so much for coming by. Uh, Sam really, really enjoyed Anthony. Um, he definitely loves men, boys. I think maybe, you know, it just reminds him um, of his daddy. I'm just laying here and laying here and laying here. <clears throat> well, thank you, Shelly, for getting your dog off of Craigslist because you definitely saved a dog from it could have been a horrible, horrible life and horrible fate. Your dad must have had worked long hours at the library, so they must have been alone most of the time. You know, I, I wonder so many things and that would be, I'm sorry, the dog hair. I'm just, it's, I'm, oh, um, that's the, th those would be the things that would be, I think helpful would be if I knew a little bit more of, and I don't need a shirt. I, I don't, I don't need all that. Um, I don't know if that would make it work. I'm exhausted, Donna. Thank you for that. <laughs> Freaking so tired. Um, and it's looking blurry here. Okay. Um, I'm so, yeah, I'm exhausted. Exhausted. You, what's the matter, buddy? You just seem uncomfortable. Hmm? What is it? Do you want to get down and get some water? Huh? You want some water? You want me to get you some water? You want water? Here, come here, let's get some water. Hold on, guys. Let me see what he wants. He's agitated. You seem like you're not... What do you want? You want to get down? Go ahead. You can get down. Go ahead. Jump down. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Yeah, they're not used to beds. Look at him. He's afraid to jump off a bed, for God's sakes. Hi. I just had them out. Come on. Come on, Sam. You got it. It's not that high. You want the cold floor? Here, let me move this. Get some water, buddy. Here. Come here. Here, over here. Is that what you want? Is that what you wanted? The cold floor? You can lay on the floor. Go ahead. Lay down on the cold floor if that's what you want. No. One ear is always up and one ear is always down. Right, Sam? Sam's special. Oh. And there's my Susie. Yep, he wanted to lay on the cold floor. You happy now? Is that what you wanted? I'm going to take them out again. Um, I'm hoping. No, they're not guard dogs. Guard dogs, oh my God. Not at all. Oh, excuse me. Dogs bark and they don't even bark back. <clears throat> they have no reaction at all um, towards other dogs at the fence line. Godiva barks and barks and barks through the window. They don't even look. They walk away. No, uh, Wendy, I know, but that's not the case. Um, he's sleeping right now. He just went out. He peed and he pooped. And uh, I notice when I'm not here. He like yeah, right, like Apollo, please, big guard dog. Um, he likes to lay by the door because the floor is cold. They like the cold. I know, I think about that all the time, Don. I wish they could talk and tell us more. Although I don't know if I would want to know what, what they, they're thinking. Um, Stacy, uh, monkey was itching because he was infested, infested with fleas. When I tell you the amount of fleas that was, sorry, the amount of fleas that was on that little dog, I gave him a cap star, which a cap star is like an instant kill all fleas on me in 20 minutes. I gave him a bath. Um, 
<laughs> Thanks, Sharon Lindsay Ward. I gave Monkey a bath with the Dawn, which also kills off fleas. I gave him a Simperica, um, which also is a prevention, preventative for flea and tick. It's a great product. So, but he, I had so many fleas on him. He's actually going to the groomer tomorrow at noon. Um, his nails are completely curled and they're wrapping around each other. And when I just touched his paw, he was not having it. So, um, I'm not going to mess with him. I figured I'd let Michael do it. And he needs some good cleaning up as well. Um, and also uh, his eyes. So it appeared that they had a haze on it. And when I took a wet little soft uh, piece of napkin um, and I just wiped it across, the whole film came off and his eyes were nice dark in color, which I've seen this before. So it's not cataracts, it's dry, he has dry eye, um, which basically he would need uh, just like artificial tears, drop, drop, like probably two or three times a day. He can see perfectly fine. He is so, so stinking cute and so sweet. Actually, I think I'm going to, mm, I was going to attempt to get out of this room and go see little monkey for a few minutes. Hold on a second. This should be fun. Let me get my shoes on. I really need to wash my hands and Lysol too. Sam, can I get by? Excuse me, Sam. Watch out, Sam. Sorry, buddy. Watch out. Come on. Okay, it's all right, buddy. You're fine. Just let, I'll be right back. Go lay down on your floor. Go, I'll be right back. Hold on one second. Give me one second, please. I'm just going to wash my hands and lace all. All I need is to uh, get little monkey sick. So I'm going to take you guys with me. Um, I don't know if you saw my post, but um, Sparkle's room is empty. Sparkle went to foster today with Craig. He lives alone. Um, no other pets because she is not pet friendly. So let's please all say a prayer. Please, please, please say a prayer that it works out so that she can be in a home environment with a person and recover in peace because she didn't want to be here. They don't want to be alone in these rooms. Oh, let me make sure the light's on. Sorry. Okay. Hi, monkey. Are you sleepy? You're such a good boy. How, what are you watching on TV? Hi, monkey, monkey. I'm going to shut the TV off for a second. How many dogs have been in this room, right? My God. Tinsel just left. The five littles that were in here. Hi. And, oh my God, Sonny, Johnny. Who else was in here? We had so many doggies in here. You, you laying with your babies? Huh? You laying with your babies? Hi, sweetness. Hi. So you can see this eye. I wiped off the dry film. That And this one right here. Hi. 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 So I need to put the drops. He needs to be seen anyway. Yep, dry eye. It's nothing. It's nothing that can't be, you know, cared for. He's the sweet. Hi. You're so cute. You have an underbite too, right? Show me your underbite. Go. Show me your teeth. Let me show me your teeth. What? Just 
you, baby. What's this? Huh? What's that? Hi. Hi, handsome. Hi, monkey, monkey. What are you doing? Are you tired? Are you tired? Do you feel better without all those fleas on you? Oh, he made a little noise. Oh, I love the Shih Tzus, too. Oh, my God. They're so sweet. Such a good boy. Now, surely, there's got to be somebody out there that can offer this sweet baby a foster to adopt. Seriously. Come on now. What, 12 pounds? Um, Shelly, what kind of coffee? I, what kind of what? Hi, Brandy Bowman with the big smile on your face. Um, what kind of coffee maker do you have? A Karugi, Karugi, what's called, whatever it's called. Um, I don't use coffee mate. We use liquid uh, creamer and yes, regular sugar. And I want to say to our Brandy Bowman and her husband, Kirk, you guys are so freaking awesome. So, um, uh oh, I heard him coughing. Here we go. And he wasn't even in a shelter. Why are you coughing, buddy? You don't feel good? Do you not feel good? What's the matter? Hmm? What you doing, CBN? I took him out earlier. He made three poopies today. Oh, my God. What's he got for you? What is this? Do you want some more? Is it some treats? Mmm. Want the treats? Oh, you got itch? I searched him and searched him and searched him, and I don't see one flea on him. So, you know, those fleas, boy, let me tell you something. When they're on them, they bite, and they make you itchy. No more fleas. Is he scratching? What's this? How about this one? Mmm. You don't want any more? He ate really good. He had some wet food um, and, and picking at the dry food. He's, he's hooked up. This dog is hooked up. From the crate that he was brought into today, if you all remember and saw the video, it was filthy, dirty, disgusting. He was stinky to high heaven. His nails are still... That's one nail that's curling up in the air. It's crossed over. I don't want to mess with him. He doesn't like when I touch his nails, so I'm not going there. Who's this? Who's this one? Who's this? Hi, monkey. Monkey. Do you like Lammy? Everybody likes Lammy, and his teeth are white. He has beautiful teeth. Oh, good boy, monkey. Is that good? Is that yummy? Huh? You want some more? Here. Mmm. That's good, monkey. Gives you energy. You like that? You want some more? Here. Something so awesome about... Uh, hearing a dog crunch. I love hearing dogs crunch on food. You want more? This is the dry food that was donated by our wonderful Jody Miranda from Pod Supplies, which is a very awesome company. They have, they have every high quality brand of food that you could want, and they are a family um, owned business. They're fantastic. Pod Supply. P-A-W-D. They donate so much to us, and we're so blessed to have them and their support. So thank you, Jody, and your family. You like that? You want more? You want more? Here. This is like a mixture. We do a mixture of all high-quality dry. Um, we have natural balance. We have... Um, Taste of the wild, right? All kinds of good. We have from in here. All kinds of goodies. Hi, Cheryl Mays. How's our baby girl? Cheryl adopted our little Shih Tzu. What did you rename her, Cheryl? I know you love the Shih Tzus. Who doesn't? They're so ridiculous. Here. This is Monkey. 
and don't mess with his name. <laughs> he likes his name, right? Say so you like the name monkey. Is it good? Here, you need your energy. Joyce, aren't they awesome? Joyce gets her food from Pod Supplies. Don't they deliver to your house as well? It's so convenient. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, wow. He's like almost done with the bowl. The bowl's been sitting in here and he won't eat out of it. He wants me to hand, he wants me to serve him. <laughs> you want more? Huh? Do you want some more? Oh, he's got an itch first. You itching first? He's not going to be itching tomorrow. So easy to spoil, Pauline. So, so easy. You want some more? Here. Here. Monkey. Look at the nail. Monkey. Okay. Look at that one nail. It's curling up in the air. I want to cut it so bad. He won't let me. I don't even know how he's walking, to be honest with you. Is that delicious? Is that yummies? Is that yummies? You like it? One more? Look at, let's watch this. Look at the One more? Here. Here. I don't know how he's walking. So whether he was groomed or not, let me tell you what, nails don't grow that fast, that quick. These nails haven't been cut in I don't know how long, so. Yes, I serve you like a little prince because you're special. You're a special little boy and you deserve it. Monkey was found on 95 Highway in Hollywood. Yeah. In the traffic. And he jumped into the lady's car. He's not neutered. He is not microchipped. You left a piece. Here, there's two more little pieces. Can you get that? Huh? You itchy? You want me to scratch? Here. Oh, is that better? Does it feel good? Oh, 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 oh. Does that feel good? Yeah. Oh, I see a little cocker in him. I don't know why, but his ears maybe. I don't know. His little, his body. He's very small. He is petite. He's probably about 12 pounds, 12, 13 pounds. Yeah, I, I mean, like he's already shaved and stuff, but his feet, his legs, his back end um, cleaned up. You know, he's, it's not going to look that different when they groom him. Ah, what are you doing? Now you're going to you're gonna roll over and scratch your back? You want me to scratch your belly? Oh, scratch, 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 scratch. Scratch, 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 scratch. Where's your belly? Where's monkey's belly? Where's Monkey's belly? Where is it? Huh? Where is Monkey? Where's Monkey? Where's Monkey? There he is! Here's Monkey! There he is! Hi! Hi, Monkey! You want some water now? How about, hold on. Oh. Oh, is it waters? Come on, you need to hydrate. As Carol would say, come on. No? Okay. It's over here if you want it. What else would you like? You want to come in my lap? Come on. You want to come over here? Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come here. Come. What? Hey. Monkey. Monkey. Oh. Hey, there's no more fleas on you. Oh. Come on. Hi, monkey. Hi. What? What, monkey? What? Hi. Hi, handsome. Hi. Hi. You're so handsome. You are. You're a good boy, monkey. Come here. 
You want to come into bed? <gasps> Monkey, look at this. Hey, come here. Monkey, here. Come on. Come on. Come in here. Come on. Come in this bed. Ooh, look how soft this bed is. You have one... Look at this room. It's ridiculous. One of the volunteers came and said, can I ask why there's so many beds in one room? We have one there. We have this big one here. We have one here, one here. Comforter, couch, bed, stairs, bed, bed, teepee, and bed. And the reason being, because we're crazy? No, because we had all the littles in here. Um, Carolyn, he is, I would honestly guess, about five. That's my guess. Um, he doesn't need Apoquil. This is from him being on with all the fleas and everything. But since we cleaned him up, let's put this over. You want to go in that bed? Go check it out. There's all kinds of beds here, you know. Go check it out. What's that? Huh? Must smell another doggy on it. You smell the littles on there? We Remember, we had Mama Gemma and Daddy TJ and uh, Lola and um, Poppy in here, plus Luna. So they were all in here. We had beds everywhere. And, and that cute was donated. So cute. And the TP from Auntie Susan Ho. I tell you, some of the dogs really like going in there. It makes them feel safe. Uh, Pookie, we don't have a definite plan for, but we are definitely getting her there. We just don't know which day we're going to do it. So, yes, she will be going home to her new family um, either one day this week, the beginning of the week. Hopefully, I'll reach out to Tanya sometime tomorrow. Uh, they wanted to give Tinsel a couple of days or so to settle in with uh, her parents. We're not in any rush. And Christy the Foster um, is definitely enjoying her last few days with Pookie. Are you done checking that bed out? Huh? You done? Let me see this face. Push up, push up, push up, push up. Hi. Hi, sweetness. Hi, sweet boy. Hi, sweetheart. You're so handsome. And that film, if I went into his eye, um, if I had a wet cloth right now and showed you, i just wipe it. It comes completely off his eye. Christy was here when I did it earlier, and she was like, oh, my God, Amy. It's, his eye is completely normal. So uh, he needs the drops, and I'm going to get him on those tomorrow. Buddy, I'm going to go. Do um, you, you want me to leave? I'm going to go. You checking out the elephant bed? Go check it out. Go see. Go see the beds. What else we got? Go see. What? Hey. Hey. Hi. What's that? Let me scratch you. Oh, scratch, 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 scratch. Oh, itch, 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 itch. Does that feel good? Does that feel good? Yeah. Scratch, scratch. He's going to feel better once he gets groomed tomorrow, that's for sure. No question about it. Oh, monkey. I know. I know. It's going to be all over tomorrow, I promise. All over tomorrow. What? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside and go pee-pee real quick? Before we, uh, last time before we go see peace? Come on, let me take you outside. Hold on, guys. I'm going to pick him up and take him outside one last time. <clears throat> Come on, monkey. You ready? Or maybe I don't even have to pick you up. Let's see. You going to walk through the house with me? You're a big boy, right? Go ahead. Here you go. Come on. Let's go outside. Come on, monkey. Come on. This way, monkey. Monkey. Hey. Come on. Good boy, you listen so good. That's Albert's room. Come on. He's not here tonight. Eh, eh. Monkey. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Come on, monkey. Good boy. Uncle Pee Pee? Come on. One last time. Come on. What are you doing? 
You stopping at the door? Do I have to pick you up and take you out in the yard? Come on. What? Come here. Gotcha. Oh. Boy, you're heavy. You gotta be about 15. I'd say 15 pounds. Maybe 12. Godiva's gonna start barking. Don't do it, Godiva. You ready? All right. Dear, now you can go do your business. Go on, go make a pee pee. I know, I don't know. I can't wait to have these nails cut tomorrow either. Good boy. That's a good pee pee, monkey. Good boy. Pauline, I absolutely, I will absolutely tell Carol you said happy birthday. Tomorrow is Carol's birthday. She will be spending her New Year's Eve birthday in the bathtub with our dog Diamond, who is shaking and trembling from the fireworks. Started tonight. Oh, she's on here. Hi, Carol. And I'll probably be here at the rescue house. That's a good boy, monkey. So monkey got a, um, aw, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carol. Happy birthday to you. We love you, Carol. Carol's only a baby. She's going to be 47. She called me a cougar the other day because I'm going to be 50, January 12th. The big 5-0. Can't even believe I'm going to be 50. Come on. Carol, I have a present for you here at the rescue house. Somebody dropped off. Meredith Cohen dropped off a present for you, Carol. I'll bring it home to you. Yes. <laughs> Sharon Lindsay Ward, you are, you take the freaking trophy for the cougar. Hell yeah. That's the, that's her love sex basket. That's what keeps her, her marriage going with Mark. Right, Sharon? Mm-hmm. Come on, monkey, go back to your room. You know where it is. Look at how good he is. Is this new? He's been here less than 24 hours. I have something new for you. Look. Hey, look what I got. Look what I found on the way. Come here. Come on, monkey. Monkey. He's checking out the house. Monkey. Checking everything out? Yeah, <laughs> you can check it out. Do you want a cookie? Here. Here, monkey. Here. How about this? Come on. Come on. Look what I have. Here. Oh, look at that. Come on. Look what I got. Here. Come on. Here. Cookies? Do you like cookies? Those aren't good enough cookies? You want your TV back on? Because I'm going to call this a night for you, monkey. Yeah. I love you. Welcome to your new life, buddy. Do you know how to do stairs? Look. Come on. Up, up. See, I'm a big boy, Amy. I don't need stairs. Come on. Come on, monkey. Come on. You can do it. There you go. Hi, monkey. Hi. Say hey, hi, everybody. Say thank you for saving my life today and letting me have a new life. You're going to have the best life, I promise you, monkey. Everybody listen to this promise to monkey. He's going to have a new life, the best life. That's it. We're going to find you the best mommy or daddy. I can't with these comments. You guys are freaking killing me. Pauline is a saber tooth. <laughs> Too much. Hi. I love you. 
I do. Come on this bed. Oh, look at this one. Come up here. Up up. What? What? Everybody wants lots of loving tonight. Yeah, I know. All right. Listen, monkey. We have to call it a night. You stay up there. Look at all your beds. It's so comfy up there. Let me turn this down. It's a little loud. Ah, that feel good. Does that feel good? I'm going to get you. I'm going to get Monkey. Where's Monkey? Where's Monkey? Oh, where's Monkey? There he is. Peekaboo. Peekaboo, Monkey. Where is he? I see you. Peekaboo. There he is. There he is. Ah, what? I'll go get you. I can get you. You like TV? Have you ever watched TV? Guys, he can get around the nails. He's been walking just fine. Um, he's used to it, unfortunately. How sad is that? They'll be gone tomorrow. Right, Monk? She knows what she's doing. We couldn't get it. Buddy, here. What? Don't you dare start with that. No. Oh, you like me now? Mm-hmm. Don't start with that humping business. No, Luna is in foster care with our wonderful Jessica Wolf and her senior chihuahua. Okay, so this little man has decided. It must be because I'm a cougar, huh? Is that it? No more. <laughs> stop it. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Get the sugar. Do we need sugar? You're sneezing too? Huh? I need sugar. Get that. Pour some sugar on you. Huh? <laughs> Dude, seriously. Go relax. It's all good. It's, it's all good, monkey. Monkey, can I have my leg back, please? Monkey, let go. Go lay down. No, that's not lay down. Monkey, go on your bed or something. You show me some loving, huh? Come on, buddy. It's enough. Come on. What? Speak. What? Speak. That's not speak. Let go. Let go. It's sugar time. <laughs> it's the pink shoes. These are my kitty cats giving the finger. I forget what they're called. Just, I had to have them. Hi. Come on. Up here. Get off my leg. Come on. Let's do it. Thank you. Enough with that business. That's enough. And don't start pumping my arm either. No. No more humpies. Okay. Are we done now? Okay. You're tired? You had a workout? Okay. All right. Okay. He just wants to get close to... She's just a baby. See, I'm just a baby, too. And I need lovings, too. Yeah, I need lovings, too, you know. Oh. All right, guys. <laughs> what are you doing? Dude, enough. Oh, now you made yourself comfy and I'm going to leave you? Are you trying to say don't leave you? Uh, you don't want me to leave either? Nobody wants to be alone tonight. Chitty patootie. Right? His teeth are white as can be. There's like no tartar. So I don't know. I don't know if his eyes are just from neglect because oh, he's humping now. Okay, that's enough. Monkey, we need to get you neutered. Monkey, no more humping. It's enough. It's, I said it's enough. Please. Monkey, go lay down and go see peace. Come on. The lights are going out. Monkey, please. I know. He was tired before I came in here. Can you get off? I love you. Mwah. Go lay down. Stay. Eh, eh. Let go. No more humping. Good night, nights. I love you, and I'll see you in the morning. Go make yourself comfy. <laughs> Stop. Shut the light off. Okay. Night, nights for monkey. Empty room. Sparkle left.
quiet right now, so I'm very happy. Hi. Hi, Gagey. Godiva, you want to go out? Come on. Come on. Come on, Gage. Godiva, let's go. Godiva. You coming? No, she's sleeping. She don't want to come. Come on, you want to go by yourself? Want to go out real quick and pee pee? You checking out my pink shoes too? Don't you even think about it. No sugar on you tonight. Come on, let's go outside you. Come on. Come on. He's so big. He's gorgeous. Hey, leave my shoes alone. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Gage. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Pee-pees. Go pee-pee. I got a pee-pee. Come on. Okay, Gage wants no part of it either. So I got to lock that. All right, so I think... I think it's time for you to go to bed. Come on. It's my shoes. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah? You ready? You want this? All right. Come on. Here. Here's your treat. Mommy, here. Good girl. Eat your treats. What'd you do to your bed, Gage? Think you have enough oh enough toys in here? Oh, I'm so proud of you. You left this on here without ripping it off. Okay. I love you, Mama. Go night night. Do you wanna go out? You do? Do you wanna go pee pee? Come on. Do you wanna go outside? Come on. What's going on with you tonight? Craziness. I don't wanna go out. They're so comfy, these sandals. Oh. <laughs> what a surprise. You decided to get back on the bed without me? Yeah? Yeah, you you're, you just, you found your way back on the bed, Sam? Oh, Susie. Oh. Oh, I know. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Okay. Okay. There we go. Here you go. You're better? Yeah, they have kennel cough. Both of them. I got tail wags. Did I see tail wags when I came in here? Both of you? Did both of you give me tail wags when I walked in this room? I saw it. You can't hide it. Want some water? Here. Here. Come on, drink. Oh, I can't wait for this kennel cough to be over. It's awful. Can't take it. Do you guys want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Sam, you want to go pee pee? Who wants to go outside? Nobody wants to go outside? I saw the tail wags. You did too. Caught it on video. Hey. Hi. Hi. Sam, Sam. Hi, Susie. Hi, Sam. Hi. You heard me coming. I know you were excited when I walked in this room.
Oh, the kennel cough. If they are in the shelter for freaking a minute, I swear to God, I swear they get kennel cough. I think I can go home. I really do, too. I think that if uh, they're just tired, I think that the trazodone definitely relaxed them. I think I can escape for a little bit and go home and come back in the morning. Uh, the kennel cough, honestly, it depends. I mean, it depends on the dog. Some of them, it's just a few days and they stop showing signs. Sometimes it's a week. Sometimes it's two weeks. I am. I am. I'm going home. All right, guys, I need to take these clothes off. I need to wash up. And uh, so I don't give this stuff to my dogs when I go home. And I'm going to let these babies sleep. And I pray to God that when I get home, they're quiet. I'm going to turn up the TV. I'm actually thinking I, I, they like the light on. I think the dark upsets them. I really do. Keep the TV low because you don't like it loud. I know. I'm getting to feel you guys. Okay. I'm going to go. Okay. See, already starting. I love you. Oh, now you, now you're going to, now go night nights. Go night nights. Go night nights. I love you so much, Susie. I love you, Sam. I love you. I love you. Go lay down. I'll be right back. Please, dear God, make them be quiet. All right, that's it, guys. This was the uh, lucite and the wood chunks from the door. There's three pieces, four pieces that they cracked off the door. And these things get really sharp. As you can see, the points, so... Yeah, it could be dangerous. I'm going to make a run for it. I'm going to pray to God that they're going to be okay. Guys, go get some sleep. And thank you for coming along this journey. Thank you for staying up with me. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for allowing me to vent. And um, just all I can ask is just to please keep sharing and help me find these dogs a loving home together, please. So sweet dreams to every one of you. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. This is Amy signing off, 100 plus, Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. Good night, everyone.